Hi friends, welcome to Boss Facts YouTube channel with another one interesting video. Let's start. Space is the expanse that exists beyond Earth and its atmosphere and between celestial bodies. Outer space is not completely empty. It is a near-perfect vacuum containing a low density of particles, predominantly a plasma of hydrogen and helium, as well as electromagnetic radiation, magnetic fields, neutrinos, dust, and cosmic rays. The baseline temperature of outer space, as set by the background radiation from the Big Bang, is 2.7 kelvins, 270 degrees C, 455 degree F. The plasma between galaxies is thought to account for about half of the baryonic, ordinary matter in the universe, having a number density of less than one hydrogen atom per cubic meter and a kinetic temperature of millions of kelvins. Local concentrations of matter have condensed into stars and galaxies. Intergalactic space takes up most of the volume of the universe, but even galaxies and star systems consist almost entirely of empty space. Most of the remaining mass energy in the observable universe is made up of an unknown form, dubbed dark matter and dark energy. Outer space does not begin at a definite altitude above Earth's surface. The Kármán line, an altitude of 100 kilometers, 62 miles above sea level, is conventionally used as the start of outer space in space treaties and for aerospace records keeping. Certain portions of the upper stratosphere and the mesosphere are sometimes referred to as near space. The framework for international space law was established by the Outer Space Treaty, which entered into force on the 10th of October, 1967. This treaty precludes any claims of national sovereignty and permits all states to freely explore outer space. Despite the drafting of UN resolutions for the peaceful uses of outer space, Anti-satellite weapons have been tested in Earth orbit. Humans began the physical exploration of space during the 20th century with the advent of high-altitude balloon flights. This was followed by crewed rocket flights and then crewed Earth orbit, first achieved by Yuri Gagarin of the Soviet Union in 1961. The economic cost of putting objects, including humans, into space is very high, limiting human spaceflight to low Earth orbit and the Moon. On the other hand, uncrewed spacecraft have reached all of the known planets in the solar system. Outer space represents a challenging environment for human exploration because of the hazards of vacuum and radiation. Microgravity has a negative effect on human physiology that causes both muscle atrophy and bone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more informative topics. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos.